We are uh, dog sitting for a few days. You want to introduce him to Annie? I think we introduced Annie once before. Piper's a little bit jealous of Annie. Piper's very jealous of Annie. But Annie's fun, full of fun, and not afraid of much. Yeah, she's not afraid of much. She's she thinks a she's dog. a hundred pound Rottweiler, actually. Yeah. Piper. She, she's in the front lines. <laughs> she yeah. goes out and. Piper's not a fan. So welcome back everyone, Mike here. I am in a really good mood today. One, finally got some clear skies, so that's pretty nice. And two, tomorrow is New Year's Eve. Now not that that's a big deal, I really care all that much about New Year's Eve, but I kind of forgot that I didn't have to go back to work until Wednesday. You know, normally like Sunday afternoons, early evening, uh, it kind of starts getting in your head like, boy, I gotta do this and finish this up and put this away and you know get to bed at a reasonable hour to try to start your week off right well this week i don't have to worry about that now this afternoon i'm not doing a whole lot sharpening some chainsaws fueling some tractors up but a lot of people have been asking about the big tool rack and why i have not been using it when i go out to cut firewood very simple answer for that uh, it's just been too wet around here hasn't froze up yet this year and i'm telling you it is such a mess in the woods like I t I'll take the Ranger out, and it's a lot less kind of low impact than the tractors. Uh, but we had have had record rainfalls this year. Matter of fact, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Uh, I think tomorrow afternoon, evening, and I think that will put us at the all-time uh, record for most amount of rainfall in one year. So when you go out in the woods, you know it doesn't really look that wet. And I know a lot of people that watch this channel are from different parts of the country or different parts of the world. But I'll tell you a little bit about like our soils here and what we deal with. Uh, you know, you'll see all those leaves out there in the woods. And, you know, you can kind of take a tractor out there on a day like today. And those leaves, you can actually just kind of run over top of them. But once you spin that tire one time is all it takes. We have some really deep, rich, nice topsoil uh, around here, and it's right underneath those leaves, and it is soaking wet. And kind of once you break through a little bit of a crust there, uh, you just make a mess. I mean, I I'm not going to get stuck unless you do something really dumb, but all you do is rut everything up, and then what happens when it rains again, water lays in those ruts. So I try to be as low impact as I can in the woods, because otherwise I'm just making uh, more work for myself later. But anyway, back to the big tool rack. Uh, I'm really looking forward to whenever it does freeze up. And uh, I think this afternoon here before it gets dark, I just want to try something out real quick. I think this very well could be the ultimate firewood setup. We'll see, but I'll show you what I got going on here. This is Stanley right here. Stanley is our uh, oldest golden retriever. He's a good dog, sort of, but uh, Stanley kind of marches to the beat of a different drum. He does. He kind of does what he wants. But anyway, back to the uh, ultimate firewood setup.
All right, so when it does freeze up finally, this is the setup that I'll be uh, using for firewood. It's the RK37, the granite grapple. Big tool rack back here, which is Stanley approved. Huh? Stanley, there's nothing he likes more in life than going for a R-I-D-E. You can't even say it because he just kind of mopes around a little bit, moves kind of slow. He's getting up there in years. But if you say that word, it's on. Yeah. And uh, you see what I did here? I put the uh, dump trailer on the back of the big tool rack. Now this is pretty long, but I'm telling you what, this will be a really nice setup uh, for gathering firewood and for other things as well. Should be pretty good. But like I was saying earlier, it just needs to freeze up or dry up. And at this uh, point in the year, it is definitely not going to dry up until next summer. What do we have about what, Melissa? Four months of this, yeah. at least. Hopefully, the, it'll either freeze or we'll have more sunshine. Maybe. Yeah, I'd rather it just snow. You know what I mean? It it won't yeah. snow. It just warms up enough to rain. Like it's cold today. Aren't you freezing out here? I was busy taking the Christmas decorations down, so I was sweating. Oh, you're in there taking the decorations down. Are those uh, pajama pants? Yeah, I actually um, these are lounge pants. You're probably familiar with them. <laughs> but I wore a dress to church today. I showered and washed my hair. So it may look like I just woke up, but I didn't. Oh. This is something that um, you lounge in. Okay. I think Stanley would stay in there all day. I know he would. So for those of you asking about the big tool rack and why I haven't been using it for firewood, that's the only reason. It's just too muddy in the woods for the tractors. Uh, let's see, tomorrow is New Year's Eve. I might even upload this video tonight. I, that would be two in one day, which is huge for us. But uh, if we don't, if you don't, you know, see us in another video before the end of the year, we want to wish everybody a happy new year. Happy new year. What are we going to do tomorrow night? Anything? No. We struggle to stay up past nine. Yeah, we don't. Tomorrow's my dad's birthday. Yeah. New Year's Eve is my dad's birthday. And then you've... Um, You've blown up our Christmas tree in the past. Yeah, we so. used to. I haven't done that in a while, but we used to. Well, because we've had an artificial tree for many years. For Levi was allergic to yeah. pine, so now he's moved out. We had a real tree this year. Yeah, we used to like blow it up every year at midnight, uh, just with a bunch of fireworks and things like that. Put some diesel fuel in the stand. It start burning. Make a really nice show there, right at midnight. But I went through a lot of Christmas tree stands doing that. Right. We did. But I guess you could set it in a bucket or something. And then people call us. At yeah, the people would call. 12, 15. But anyway, we just want to wish everyone a, a very uh, happy new year. And thanks for all the support uh, everyone's given us over this past year. It's been a lot of fun. And who knows, we may get one more video out tomorrow night. But if not, uh, we'll see you next year. And if you enjoyed these videos, please click the like button, subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks. Going downstairs.